Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Microbial World. In this video, we will be studying about type 1 hypersensitivity reactions in detail. Type 1 hypersensitivity is an immediate allergic reaction triggered by the interaction of an allergen with pre-sensitized IgE antibodies bound to mast cells and basophils. This leads to rapid release of histamine and other inflammatory mediators causing allergic symptoms. So how does this reaction occur? When an allergen such as pollen, dust or certain type of food enters into our body, our body produces IgE antibodies which attach to mast cells. When our body is re-exposed to the allergen, that is, when the same allergen enters the body again, the mast cells release chemicals like histamine. This will cause symptoms such as sneezing, itching, swelling or severe reactions like anaphylaxis, that is, difficulty in breathing and shock. This is what is called as type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. Now, this reaction is called as an immediate allergic reaction. This is because the reaction occurs rapidly within seconds to minutes after exposure to the allergen. Clinical manifestations of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction can be classified into two types, localized reaction and systemic reaction. Localized reaction occurs when the allergic response is limited to a specific part of the body. For example, allergic rhinitis or hay fever affects your nose and eyes. So this can cause symptoms such as sneezing, runny nose, watery eyes or nasal congestion. Asthma affects the lungs and airways and causes symptoms such as wheezing, shortness of breath and chest tightness. Urticaria or hives. This is caused because of any food allergies, medications or insect bites. This can affect your skin and result in red-colored, itchy, deep swellings on the skin. Food allergies affect the digestive system and it can cause nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps or diarrhea. So as you can see, the localized reaction is affecting only a specific part of the body. Systemic reaction or anaphylaxis. It is the most severe reaction and it can be life-threatening. This reaction occurs when the allergic response spreads throughout the entire body affecting multiple organ systems. It has a rapid onset because the reaction occurs within minutes to an hour after exposure to the allergen. It is triggered by foods such as peanuts, shellfish or insect stings such as bee venom or drugs like penicillin. Symptoms include difficulty in breathing, throat swelling, rapid heartbeat, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness or widespread hives. So as you can see, the systemic reaction is affecting multiple organs like skin, heart, lungs or gastrointestinal tract and it can cause shock or death if it is not treated immediately. The mechanism of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction occurs in three main phases. Sensitization phase, activation phase and effector phase. Sensitization phase is the phase where our immune system is first exposed to the allergen. Re-exposure to the allergen occurs in the activation phase. An effector phase is the allergic reaction. So let's see what is sensitization phase. During the sensitization phase, our immune system is exposed to an allergen. The allergen could be pollen, food, dust or insect venom. So when the allergen enters into our body, the antigen presenting cells like dendritic cells will capture the antigen and present it to Neve T helper cells. The Neve T helper cells differentiate into T helper 2 cells due to cytokines like interleukin 4 and interleukin 13. T helper 2 cells stimulate B cells to produce IgE antibodies specific to the allergen. These IgE antibodies will bind to FC epsilon R1 receptors on the surface of mast cells and basophils, making them sensitized.
This process occurs without visible allergic symptoms. The second phase is the activation phase. In the activation phase, the person is exposed to the same allergen again. When re-exposure to the allergen occurs, the allergen cross-links with IgE on mast cells and basophils. This cross-linking will cause the mast cell to degranulate. Degranulation leads to the release of stored inflammatory mediators. Effector phase is the last phase where allergic reaction occurs. Allergic reaction occurs in two waves, immediate phase or early phase. This phase occurs within minutes. During this phase, mediators such as histamine, leukotrienes and prostaglandins are released. Effects of histamine includes vasodilation which results in redness and swelling. Increased vascular permeability causes fluid leakage and edema. Bronchoconstriction causes wheezing and difficulty in breathing. Itching or pruritus, which is caused by the stimulation of nerve endings in the skin, can result in irritation and pain. Late phase occurs 4 to 6 hours after exposure to the allergen and it can last up to 24 hours. During this phase, Mast cells and basophils release cytokines such as interleukin-4, interleukin-5, interleukin-13 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. Eosinophils also play an important role in this phase and they are recruited to the site. They cause tissue damage and prolonged inflammation. This phase will result in chronic allergic reactions like asthma and eczema. So this is all about type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. I hope that the video was useful for everyone. Thank you for watching.